Vyas Media Network. So, just for all the people who are listening as well, let's hear a little bit more about your early childhood. How did you go? Where did you grow up? Your education? Sure. Because it's a long career tragedy. It is. It is. Um, um, uh, born in Nepal, a uh, uh, family of three girls. Um, uh, I think very interesting, amazing childhood. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember a lot of people telling my parents that uh, they're unlucky that they have three girls. Um, my parents never f- made us feel that way. Uh, I think they would you know they would they would uh, treat us, and I'm so grateful for it. Um, uh, we lost my dad when I was in high school, so. Mm-hmm. That of course is is uh, is a tragedy of our lives. Mm-hmm. That, uh, um, apart from that, I think uh, even my mom, say single mom, she has been incredible um, to the point that I remember middle um, high school. After my dad passed away, he was the primary breadwinner. My mom wasn't working. Ani, they suggested that um, you know I can get a scholarship, a need based scholarship, and you know that would help with uh, the money, you know. And I remember my mom rejecting it. Uh, reason say ke mane, um, like I would always feel like I'm an orphan, right? Mm-hmm. And he, uh, practically, it does not make sense. She could have taken it. Right? This is for school. For school, yeah. high school. Yeah. Nepal, ma, um, Branding on to lagi. Mm. Uh, she didn't take it. Ani oil harus was the 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 practical sense is you she should have taken and kill unti ora ina. Thora the what the message it gave me and I think that's what she wanted was even with uh, the primary breadwinner our dad gone our life uh, you know has changed but it hasn't changed to that degree that we would have to. Figure all that out. Okay? Only, I'm, I'm also grateful for that. Okay? This is the messaging in terms of, okay, we're still okay, but it is, she still uh, took over everything. So um, so that was it. Um, high school, I went to the US, uh, did my undergrad, um, US. Um, did you always want to go to the US? Like when you were no. young, <laughs> college with, you know, the whole migration <laughs> thing. Oh my God. Can people share? are moving. I want to know, like, oh my then, God. What the I thought process. <laughs> Um, uh, no, actually, uh, so uh, growing up, say, I wanted to be a doctor, uh, studied uh, bio in uh, high school and everything. And that was my plan. Um, I would say, I guess it's been so long, so I can, I guess I can sure share this story. Um, high school, say, I had a boyfriend who's mm-hmm. now my husband. Uh, you guys were dating since then? Since then, since wow. high school. So he, he was there just for, I think, two or three months. So okay. very short time. It was very like puppy love. The yeah, story. It's yeah. a crush, then like deep love, right? We didn't really actually, uh, you know, spend a lot of time. So there was something about um, so my plan say, was to study medicine, everything. Ani, uh, my husband Arun uh, at that time say, I, I was fifteen, he was sixteen, right? Uh, um, he actually uh, he th- uh, thought that if I went uh, studied medicine, but I would study here or India, and he was in the U.S., so I would never, uh, we would never meet, right? Uh, so he convinced his family and then my family that uh, I should give up my plans for medicine and actually uh, uh, come to the U.S. And his logic uh, was uh, that uh, medicine body when I would be successful, that I wouldn't be happy because I wouldn't have family time, right? Uh, only, you know, I think it was very good uh, marketing, Nikki, convincing on his part because, you know, I had just lost my dad. Only Mirolagi family has always been so important. So I was like, oh my God, Satsi Honi, right? I, it's so naive of me to like change the trajectory of my life that I was like, okay, um, uh, it's true. Uh, you know, uh, I don't want to do this anymore. And he so applied to colleges. Uh, Uta, um, uh, and of course, there's a whole, uh, you know, conversation around uh, being the first one, first uh, kitty from my family to go abroad. Everybody, I remember, Gharwari, there were all my relatives and cousins coming in to have a discussion that I shouldn't go, Banera, right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, convincing them and so on. Um I had a wonderful time, uh, undergrad, ma, really, I think, I remember first uh, semester in college, ma, say, that was the first time in my life uh, that I had felt like um, 
who like uh, you know last name didn't matter you know makosko chori kosko ki like didn't even matter right uh, all that matters was mo mile hard work gare i got good grades and i could do anything i want ke okay? to was such a powerful moment personally the first time feel that okay? like where people wouldn't ask me oh timi kosko chori kosko wife kosko baini all that right um all of that that uh, after our uh, undergrad pachi i came back to nepal uh, worked here for five years um and i uh, went to canada for mm-hmm. my mba uh, came to singapore worked for five years mm-hmm. um and then came back to nepal um for a year or so mm-hmm. that's when we met yeah, uh, yeah. um and this pachi um after the earthquake i went back uh, mm-hmm. to the us mm-hmm. and been there for about nine years yeah, i guess yeah Vias Media Network